All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechai Kodash, that will answer to the apostles of great meals on the dual well, and salutations and blessings to you, I can push his word with true sincerity and charity. Now, today, I want to get into this quick lesson, and I'm going to title it, The Word of the Lord is All We Need, all right? Because, hey, man, you don't need any other doctrine. All right, you don't need to know anything else, man, get any uh, understanding from anything else but these scriptures, man. All right, this word quickens you, man. All right, this word uh, uh, gives you understanding of what's going on, man, through prophecy, man. All right, no other book goes into prophecy, man. No other book is uh, uh, likened unto the scriptures, man. All right, like the scripture saying in the book of Isaiah, none shall want her mate, man. All right, so, hey, this word is everything that we need, man. We don't need anything else, man. All right, so any further ado, I'm going to jump to it. This is Psalm chapter 143 and verse 10. Teach me to do thy will, for, for thou art my power. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. All right, man. So, hey, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai is good, man. All right. This, hey, the spirit of the Lord is on his words, man. All right. His words is good, man. All right. His words are perfect. Okay. It's above anything that's on this planet, man. All right. Riches, uh, uh, wealth, man. All right. Women, anything, man. Okay. Because, hey, look at uh, King Solomon. Uh, he prayed for wisdom, man. All right. Hey, what did he get? He got everything, man. All right. Peace. All right, he got a uh, rulership over the over the uh the entire known world, man. All right, he got women. All right, riches, everything, man. So this is John chapter six and verse uh sixty three says it is the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you are they are spirit and they are life. All right, man. So hey, these words are are the spirit of Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. These are spirit and they are life, man. All right, these words uh, quicken us, man. All right, they make us alive, man. They make us to know what's going on, man. All right, because, hey, when inside the world, man, all right, you was just walking uh, up and down the street not knowing what the hell was going on, man. Just a, a mindless, a mindless Jake, man. You know, but, hey, when you come to the truth, man, all right, now now you have understanding that, that, that you are God, man. All right, you have understanding that Esau, Edom is, is our enemy, man. All right, you have understanding that you're an Israelite, man. Okay? So, go back to this. So, okay. Psalm chapter 143 and uh, Psalm chapter 143 and 11. It says, Quicken me, O Yahweh, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness' uh, sake, bring my soul out of trouble. All right, man? So, A, the Lord is what quickens us, man. All right, when you come to the truth, man, all right, you get understanding of these words, man. All right, that's what wakes you up. Like it says in, um, when you go read uh, Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, man. All right, hey, this word uh, uh, is what quickened us, man. All right, hey, at one point in time, uh, we was dry bones, man. You know, but hey, when the Lord uh, um, had a prophet, all right, to wake us up, man. All right, a man of the Lord to, to wake you up. All right, and hey, you got that understanding, man. You know, and now now you're alive. Now you know what's going on, man. All right, you're no longer in that dead state, man, like a heathen. So, Psalm chapter 119 and uh, verse 33. It says, ha, all right, because hey, that's what it's supposed to say in the Hebrew. Ha, teach me, O Yahweh, the way of thy statutes, and uh, and I shall keep it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. All right, man, because hey, when you come to the truth, man, all right, you get true understanding, man. All right, you get uh, a, a, a true doctrine, man, that you would never hunger for, man. All right, understanding that you would never uh want anything else man so hey you're gonna you're gonna try your very best to keep uh these words man keep this keep you want the spirit of your how about your to stay upon you man all right like uh king david said and uh, i believe psalms uh 100 i'm saying psalms 55 man you know we want that spirit to stay on us man 55 and 11 you know so hey you you would you would never want for anything else man let me get this john 4 and uh, 13, it says, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, uh, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. And, hey, man, that's earthly water, man. All right, drinking of, of, of this, of, of the water, you know, you need to keep your flesh going, man. So it says, But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him, um, yeah, that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in me, uh, shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life all right man so hey this is the water that that, that we have man all right we have the the uh doctrine of yahweh man all right the true understanding all right truth so this is deuteronomy 32 and verse uh one says give ear O ye heavens and i will speak 
and uh and hear O earth the words of my mouth my doctrine shall drop as the rain my speech shall distill as the dew as the small rain upon the tender herb and as the shadow upon the grass all right man because hey the words of yahabash shmael shai is water man all right it, it, it grows you man all right hey it, uh water water is, is, is a very powerful element man all right this water hey this water uh, uh this truth is what has quickened us man is what has made us alive again man all right because hey without water you cannot live all right so hey, it's the same way with this truth man all right without truth you cannot live man all right this word is what uh gives us life man Hey, we we'll never want for anything else, man. This is all we need. Is this truth? So this is Baruch chapter four and uh verse one. It says, This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh and the law that endured forever. All that it keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. So hey man, when you come into this truth and you get this understanding of Yahweh Shemal Shah, man, all right, for you so-called Negro Spanish and Native Americans, man, you are the Hebrew Israelites, man. All right, hey, you you're gonna become alive, man. All right, you're gonna be quickened, man. You're never gonna want for any for any other knowledge man you're never gonna uh, uh um be be um be lost out here again man are right, you gonna always know what's going on man as long as you stay uh here to privacy man all right, as long as you stay inside these words man you're gonna you're gonna continuously get built up man you're gonna uh, continuously gain more and more life man all right but hey if you stay inside this flesh and you stay inside this world man all right that's hey, that's when you die man you know because hey it's good to say to have a carnal mind is empty with your howl all right, and A, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. All right, that's in uh, Romans, the eighth chapter, man. You know, so, A, you got to have a, a, a spiritual mind, man. All right, and that's uh, having these words of Yahweh by Shemal Shah on your mind, man. So it says, verse 2, turn, turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. All right, man. And A, how do you uh, stay, stay illuminated, man? All right. You're not to walk in these words. So this is uh, Psalm chapter 119 and uh, 104. It says, through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. So, hey, man, we hate every false way through the through the understanding of Yahweh Shem al man. Because we know every everything else is, is, is of a false God, man. It's not the real truth, man. All right, hey, celebrating Christmas, man. All right, celebrating uh, Thanksgiving, man. Hey, all those things are of, a, of, a, of another God, man. That's not of Yahweh Shem al man. We have our own high and holy days, man. All right, and hey, if you following anything else, man, you following a false guy, you following uh, another another teaching, man, another doctrine. All right, but hey, when you come into this truth, man, all right, you have true understanding of Yahweh Shmuel Shah, man. You never want for anything else, man. You never want any other doctrine, man. You a hey, hey, you just like a lot of people they go and they study all these other weird religions, man. When you inside this truth, man, you don't do any of those things, man. You stick a hundred percent to these scriptures, man. All right, because this is all you need. None shall want her mate. So. uh it says verse uh, one hundred five, um, Nah, all right. Um, thy thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. All right. So, hey, Amen. Here inside this darkness, man. All right. The way that we see, the way that we understand what's going on. All right. Is is through these words, man. All right. That's how you get illuminated, man. All right, Jacob. All right. You so called Negro Spanish and Native Americans, man. Through his word, man. All right. You're gonna get understanding. Okay. So. Cause hey man, hey, everything that's going on right now, man, hey, it's 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 through prophecy, man. All right, and these people are not, they don't know what's going on, man, because they don't have the understanding of these scriptures, man. Yahweh Bashmal Shah didn't open up their eyes, man. It's only for the elect. All right, according to um uh Romans eleven and verse seven, man. So this is Revelation three and eleven. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. All right, man. So hey, we gotta continuously hold on to these words, man. No matter what, man. All right, because in these times that we're coming into, man, all right, the only thing that's going to keep us stable is the words of Yahweh Bashem al Shah. So we got to hold on to this, man. Hold on to our crown, man. So I, I'm going to end on this. It's Isaiah 33 and verse 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and the strength of salvation, the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. All right, man? So, hey, this wisdom and this knowledge, man, all right, hey, this thing that, that that's never going to uh, uh, run out, man, all right, it's going to always be an everlasting well, man. It's always going to be an everlasting understanding with it, within us, man. All right? We just got to keep on, keep having these words upon our mind, man. Like I told you in Joshua, the first chapter, man. All right, keep thinking upon the words of Yahweh Bashem al because that's what's going to keep you faithful in him in that day, man. All right, you're going to remember uh, Sirach, the second chapter, man. All right, in the 10th verse, that the Lord is never going to forsake anyone. 
that uh, trusted in him, man. All right, served him. All right, Hebrews 11 chapter, man. All right, you just got to keep your faith strong, man, you know. So, hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakodash, that will answer the other apostles of great millstone that do it well, and salutations and blessings to you, I can as pushing his word with true sincerity and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.